and I thought, what would be the one message as a biomedical metabolic scientist that I would want to convey to people? So when I, in fact, this question is the question I asked myself as an academic in, in, at my university. When I got tenure, I thought, I looked at the rest at, at my future career and I thought, do I want my career to be defined by the number of peer reviewed papers I publish in science journals? And I thought, no, that's not enough because most people will never read those articles. No one will ever get a direct benefit from them. And I thought, what would be the one message as a biomedical metabolic scientist that I would want to convey to people? And it was this one. It was that to some degree, most of chronic disease can be attributed to one common origin. And so rather than trimming at the branches of this sick tree where we're giving the patient a, a drug for their Alzheimer's disease, we're giving them a patient for a drug for their hypertension, we're giving them a drug for their infertility. What if all of those were actually just branches coming off of one tree? Let's just cut down the tree. So when we can acknowledge a sort of common soil hypothesis, it starts to simplify the clinical approach. So all of this in my mind is a reflection of just how powerful the hormone insulin is. Most individuals only think about insulin as being a hormone that controls blood sugar, which is fantastically unfair. Insulin is one of the few peptide hormones that will literally affect every single cell of the body from, from brain cells to bone cells, lung cells to liver cells and every cell in between. There's no exception. Insulin will have an effect at every cell of the body.